The Helix Moonlight is a hybrid mattress that uses coils, memory foam, and polyfoam. It's much softer than many of the other mattresses that we've tested to date. The extra softness would be good for petite or side sleepers, but may not be supportive for heavier sleepers or those who sleep on their back or stomach. I will add, although it's soft, I wouldn't say that this mattress completely envelops the sleeper. It has a moderate amount of hug and contour without being excessive or leaving you feeling stuck. Scores of the Helix Moonlight were good, only really struggling in one of our testing categories, motion transfer. Our testing show the mattress has an acceleration range of 13.2 meters per second squared. Because of this, the Moonlight received an 8.0 out of 10 for this category. Other scores were much better, with scores in the high nines for response time, edge support sex, pressure relief, off-gassing, and company. Cooling received a 9, giving the Helix Moonlight an overall score of 9.38 out of 10. The Helix Moonlight is a soft mattress, 3.5 out of 10 on the firmness scale, where 10 is the most firm. However, it's not soft in the way that many other mattresses achieve softness through super thick pillow tops or upholstery covers. It still uses a thin cover, but the top comfort layers are quite squishy. Because the Helix Moonlight is so soft, it would be a great choice for lightweight or side sleepers. In addition, those who prefer a super soft mattress will enjoy the Moonlight as well. The softness creates good pressure relief and contour without the use of a plush pillow top cover. This softness isn't for everyone. Heavier weight sleepers may not get the support they need as well as back and stomach sleepers. The Helix Moonlight has deep sinkage with a more generalized contour, which is great for lighter weight sleepers, but not so much when pressure is applied. In addition, the Helix Moonlight has high levels of bounce, which is great for sex, but not preferred by everyone. Your body weight and sleeping position impacts the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Given the softness, this is a mattress that is likely only going to prefer by sleepers 150 pounds or less, or those who just love soft mattresses. Heavier and even some moderate weight sleepers will likely find the mattress just doesn't have enough support. If you have a heavier body, especially 250 pounds or more, you should consider the Helix Plus, Helix Midnight, or Helix Midnight Lux. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At Nap Lab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, performance, and value of the mattress. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take measurements of the surface level temperature. Overall, the cooling on the Moonlight mattress is good, but not great. I think the extra sinkage doesn't do this mattress any favors in this area, but it's also not necessarily a hot mattress. The cell structure of the latex-like polyfoam looks fairly open, as you can see both sizable and small holes throughout the surface level of the foam. Subjectively speaking, I felt slightly warm, but nothing I would describe as excessive. Pretty typical feel for a foam mattress. The deeper sinkage may create more heat retention for some sleepers, as there is simply more foam coming into contact with the sleeper's body. Looking at our objective data, the Helix Moonlight had a higher max temperature than most other mattresses we've tested to date. It reached a max temp of 92 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 2.1 degrees warmer than the average across all mattresses we've tested to date, which is 89.9 degrees. While the mattress did release heat fairly quickly, it seemed to cap out within two minutes. Even after five minutes off the mattress, the surface temperature was only reduced by 3.4 degrees, 2.1 degrees warmer than the baseline. Our objective data reinforces my subjective experience. In my view, the deeper sinkage does create more heat retention relative to many other mattresses. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.36 inches. For comparison, the average sinkage depth across all mattresses we've tested to date is 2.22 inches. During our test, I experienced a high degree of sinkage even for someone as lightweight as I am. That being said, the level of contour wasn't terribly dramatic. Since it's a latex-like foam, the contour is more generalized around the entire body as opposed to body forming like memory foam tends to be. Plus, size sleepers may find the sinkage depth to be too much and or not supportive enough as shown in the images here. 
Despite the deeper level of sinkage, there is a fairly restrained contour. This is due to latex-like foam in the top layer as opposed to memory foam, which has a higher degree of body contouring. With the Helix Moonlight, your body will sink into the mattress, but not necessarily be completely enveloped by the materials. Too much sinkage in that way is what causes sleepers to feel stuck and immobilized. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to measure the motion generated by the drop. The Moonlight has a surprisingly high level of motion transfer, most likely due to the fact that the mattress has a latex-like foam in the top layer, softer feel, and taut cover. In our test, we measured an acceleration range of 13.2 meters per second squared, which is significantly higher than the average across all of our mattress tests to date, which is 5.72 meters per second squared. This softness allows the bodies to sink deeper, but it also means that there's more material that has been compressed and needs to decompress. The hybrid design is also likely a significant factor in motion transfer. When it comes to materials, the coils and softer foams allow for lots of sinkage, which naturally creates a recipe for higher degree of motion transfer. As you can see from our motion transfer chart, there is a high level of energy for a full 1.0 seconds before it begins to notably dissipate. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and demonstrate the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. This mattress has a pretty fast response time given the nature of the latex-like polyfoam and pocketed coils. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.5 seconds and a complete recovery time of 0.9 seconds. In comparison, the average mostly recovered response time is 0.6 seconds and a full recovery is 1.0 seconds based on all of our mattress tests to date. The materials respond very quickly to the ball being lifted. The support coils in the core of this mattress play a role, but so does the top layer of polyfoam. Had the top layer been a traditional memory foam, this response likely would have been much slower. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. The bounce on the Helix Moonlight mattress is very high, significantly higher than what we typically see, and debatably higher than what many people would prefer. On average, we see a total bounce range of 9.38 inches. In the case of the Helix Moonlight, we measured 17.15 inches of total bounce. These results aren't completely unexpected, given the latex-like polyfoam and pocketed coil design. High overall bounce range in part is due to the softness of the mattress, which allows for bodies to sink deeper within the mattress before rebounding up. The high level of bounce also has a negative impact on motion transfer, but would be seen as a positive design aspect for sex. When it comes to the dance without pants, more bounce is almost always better. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Surprisingly, edge support is actually pretty good. I say that because this mattress is so soft compared to others we've tested. Oftentimes, a softer feel means edge support that's just severely lacking. There was no such issue on the Helix Moonlight. We found the edge is supportive and comfortable while both lying and sitting on the mattress. In our test, we measured 3.75 inches of compression while sitting directly on the edge. For reference, the average edge compression across all of our mattress tests to date is 4.67 inches. The materials in the top layer are quite soft, so you very easily sink through the first three inches of comfort foam. However, the support coils do a nice job of retaining their shape and support, so while both sitting and lying, I felt well supported by the edges. Our sex writing formula looks at five different factors weighted based on their importance. We use the scores from other factors plugged into the formula to derive a sex score for each mattress. For the Helix Moonlight, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.7. This mattress has excellent bounce, which really helped it a lot in this category. Good bounce is one of the biggest factors for good sex. Edge support and sinkage were also fantastic. The top layer of polyfoam really helps the top of the mattress feel responsive and non-restricting despite the softer feel. Noise hurts the score a little, but that's also just kind of the nature of hybrid mattresses with coils in the design. The material components quality and comfort layer thickness are all critical factors of pressure relief. Other factors that further affect pressure relief are body weight, body type, and sleeping position.
because of the softer feel of the Moonlight mattress, pressure relief is going to depend a lot on your body weight. For lightweight and medium weight sleepers, I would say the pressure relief is going to be excellent. Heavyweight sleepers may find it less than great, simply because they are going to sink through the comfort layers easily and bring more of their body into contact with the less pressure relieving coil system. I would expect larger weight side sleepers will have the worst experience. To evaluate off-gassing, we model the mattress following initial unboxing, taking a subjective measurement of any strong lingering smells. Off-gassing is a process that almost every mattress goes through. It simply describes the time it takes for compressed gases to be fully dissipated into the air and released from the mattress. The off-gassing of the Helix Moonlight mattress is pretty typical. Right out of the box, it has a moderately strong smell. It took two full days for the mattress to fully off-gas. For the best results, you'll want to let any new mattress complete the off-gassing process before fitting it with sheets and other bedding. Once it's fully off-gassed, there should be minimal smell coming off your new mattress. Helix, as a company, has been making mattresses since 2015. The company terms are favorable to consumers, so no complaints there from me. The mattresses come with a 100-night trial period, but do require a 30-night break-in period. The break-in period is the first 30 nights you have with the mattress. During this time, you cannot get a refund, return, or exchange. This break-in period gives your body time to adjust to the new mattress and is fairly common practice among many online brands. I would recommend the Helix Moonlight for sleepers who are looking for an incredibly soft hybrid mattress. Due to this softness, pressure relief and contour are amazing, especially for lightweight and side sleepers. If you're a moderate weight back or stomach sleeper, or a heavier weight sleeper of any position, I would recommend going with something else. The softer feel just won't give you the support you need. The design and materials respond quickly and are surprisingly supportive on the edge. Not only do these factors positively impact sex, but also improve the overall feel of the mattress. If you enjoy an incredibly soft mattress, the Helix Moonlight may be the right choice for you. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Helix Moonlight, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring that bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.